I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's talk later, Max. Let's talk later, Max. Obviously Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery show with that thing. When I don't suck. Someday. I love seeing Mr. Jefferson's awesome photos on these magazine covers. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock? God, I'm such a photo nerd. So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they have those sweet ultrasonic lenses. And look at that vintage rangefinder. What? Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed. Even her school books are gift wrapped. I can't believe she made fun of me in class. What is she, 15 years old? And people laughed.
Kate looks so sad and quiet today. Poor thing. Let's talk later, Max. Let's talk later, Max. This is ridiculous. I always get so shy and nervous around Mr. Jefferson. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images, but I still dig my little instant camera. You can never escape the lighthouse here. Even in pictures, the forest around here always looks mysterious. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? 
I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Avedon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. You Welcome always to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry. I'm not paying $150. Because Max wants everybody to see how cute she is. She plays it so sharp. <laughs> I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. To all of you American girls it's sad to imagine a world without I think that's Courtney. You. She's such American a slave to Taylor and Victoria. I'd like to be part There's of Taylor the world always waiting for Victoria. You. Driving a car by the seaside watching the world from the bright side. always dead in your tracks. Yes, this poster must stop always dead in your tracks. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. That's Dana talking to, I think his name is Justin. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal gorgeous cheerleader. 
Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I shouldn't be so catty. Dana is nice to me. To all of you, Stella is always deep in her nose. She didn't come to Blackwell to mess around. Imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. I've seen Brooke hanging out Driving with Warren. She seems like his type. Seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Yeah. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. American girls in I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. No and he's a Vortex Club member. Poor Dan, he's so nice. Like I wish I could beat the shit out of Logan. With shiny smiles and plastic buddy. I wish October would last forever. I wish I had. It looks like she's been gone for months. Need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. Never have enough ghosts and skeletons in the mountain. I wonder what actually no happened to her. Dry her fountain till she got tired to come play. I wonder what actually happened to her. Good thing I left That's my AK at home. Good thing I left my AK at home. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of sugar dropped out. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. It looks like she's been gone for months. Oh, I can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. To all of you. Rachel Amber, American she's so pretty. I hate these posters, so sad. A world without you. Rachel Amber, American she's so pretty. I hate like these posters, so sad. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. You. Driving a car by the seaside Watching the world from the bright side how many students ever actually memorize all this shit? I guess we all should these days. To all of There's the lighthouse again. American girls in the movie. Yay, Halloween, no my favorite time of year. He's cute. American I like skater boys. Like Too bad they don't like me. With shiny smiles and plastic buddy. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. 
jocks sucked up in the Vortex Club. There's Juliet from my dorm. Yet another Vortex Club disciple. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. Nerd alert. This poster has Warren written all over it. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> now who would bother to write that crap? Now who would bother to write that crap? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. Good to flow. Thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. This poster must drive people to have sex. Good to flow. Thanks. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo. Poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. 
I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. Yes, he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Diane. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Can you give I me actually a did it. Photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. Anybody? Keep it together, Max. Bueller. Diane Arbus. There you go. When Victoria. I took my selfie, Why Jefferson asked me a question. Because of her images of If he does again, I'll know this is for real. By the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Still the same stupid picture. So everything seems the same as before. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So, she could have taken another approach. I have to admit. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for- I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me I after class. A French painter and I need time to save that girl. Types. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process. and give him the right answer? Max, since... The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. 
The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes. Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting nice answer, Max. Competition, Are you okay? You look pale. Photo, so Kate, um, did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. This is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this. Let's process. talk later, Max. I also want everybody to know that this Kate probably wouldn't laugh at me, but how can I ask her about what's going on? Everybody should oh, have totally. a chance. Totally. I only right? want to share whatever gifts I have with the world. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid hint. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. It's time to be an everyday hero. Victoria hasn't moved from that spot. Stop this bullshit and go save that girl. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars of- I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. Victoria hasn't moved from that sp I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on, but I can't. <laughs> I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I have to get my education. Take that corner. Yo, Dan, you tease me. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class. If I leave now, that girl is going to die. Picture making sure you'll be bored. You suck. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face, I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what no, to do! No, he has a gun! I should do something else. Me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. I need a hammer to break it open. Never even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Oh, shit! No, 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 no!
ever even missed your punk ass. Than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh, shit! Ever even... Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone, and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm... I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. 
You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Don't wander around here. Get on outside. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Hi, Miss Grant. Excuse me, Max. I know everybody loves being asked to sign a petition, but would you do Miss Grant a favor and hear me out? Sure, I always have time for you. What's the petition? David Madsen, our chief of security, wants to put surveillance cameras all around the campus. Halls, classrooms, gym, dorm rooms, etc. Blackwell Academy should be a high school, not a high security penitentiary. I guess cameras could have helped Rachel. I can see both sides. You're fair-minded, Max. And we all pray Rachel is found safe and sound, bless her soul. But this petition isn't about her. Blackwell Academy has a noble heritage, from the Native Americans who founded this land to the pioneers who shared it in peace, not fear and violence. Blackwell is that old? That's incredible. You should learn a little history about your alma mater you'll find some fascinating facts. There's a lot of power in this region. I think it helps the creative juices flow around here. Now, before I assign you homework with this lecture, will you please sign the petition to keep our campus from going back to 1984? Absolutely, I don't mind security. 
but not pure surveillance. I knew you were my favorite new student at Blackwell for a good reason. There's Hayden in his Vortex Club harem. He sure is living the dream. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Posters over posters? Somebody really wants to find Rachel Amber. I would so be there if a Sasquatch actually did battle a Razorback. Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Stella always looks so serious and dedicated. Good for her. Hey there, Stella. Hey, I know you. You're the new quiet girl in Jefferson's class. Isn't he incredible? I think so. We're lucky to have such a famous teacher. And I actually love his work. Me too. His New York urban stuff is great, but I'm glad he came back to his Oregon roots. Screw the East Coast elite. It must piss off those pretentious galleries that Mark Jefferson is teaching photography to us Blackwell Hicks. Plus he is pretty hot for an older guy. If Victoria wasn't all over him, I would definitely make a move. Victoria is pretty obvious. I don't think Jefferson is into her. I don't think she's closed the deal, but she's not the only player. Now, how do you know this? You have a lot to learn here at Blackwell. Rachel Amber absolutely had sex with him. Well, I heard that from a good source. So... You knew Rachel? Not really. I saw her hanging with the other cool kids like Victoria. Not my kind of clip. But I heard insane stories about Rachel. I'd like to study this photo if you don't mind. Evan's portfolio always looks so uber pro. I'd love to see his photos in there. 
Hey, Evan. Mind if I check out your cool portfolio? Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. You'll have to answer a simple question. Who photographed the famous falling soldier? Gotta be Eugene Smith. Well, they both were famous war photographer images. But you should know the difference. Good try. Wrong answer. Sorry, I have to get back to my portfolio. No time for amateurs. No offense, Max. Hey, Evan. Let's see if you're worthy of it, Max. Isn't it Robert Dorno? Oh my, you can't even tell the difference between street photography and photojournalism. No portfolio peak for you. Hey, Evan. My Let's see if you're worthy of it, Mac. Robert Kappa, of course. I love his work, despite the controversy about that photo. My, my. This quiet child knows things. That's why I'm here. You're a kindred spirit, Max. Would you care for a perusal of my portfolio? It's not a privilege I grant to many. I'd be honored, sir. These photos are great. And Rachel Amber's face is mesmerizing. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. What was she like? She was like mercurial. You know what that means. Of course I do, you snob. I know, I can be a little diva. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Sorry. I have to get back to my portfolio. Sorry, I have to get back to my portfolio. Hi, Evan. As you can see, Rachel Amber was my favorite model here. She knew exactly what angles worked best with my eye. You were close. Like brother and sister in arms. She understood me, never judged me. I hated her vortex club click, but she never acted like she cared. Her friends were her friends. What do you think happened to her? Nothing good, Max. Nothing good. Clever. That's Luke Parker. Zachary pushed him into a locker last week. Go bullies. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him? Not really, I've seen him around. Sounds like you know way more than that. Max, tell me. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. 
Oh, sorry. I won't bother you. Uh, hello? Max, I don't feel like talking. What's wrong? Nathan Prescott, little rich bitch kid. He thinks he can own people like his parents own Blackwell. Like he owns the Vortex Club. Yes, he's a nasty piece of work. You, you know him. I busted him today with a gun. What? Seriously? I saw him wave a gun around today and I went to the principal. We'll see what happens next. You are my new hero. Finally, karma comes to Blackwell. I'm glad you told me that, Max. Let's talk later, cool? Daniel is always drawing something. He makes me look like an extrovert. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd be honored, Daniel. Makes me feel like a muse. Funny you should say that. I was just thinking about my real muse. Rachel Amber. You knew her? No, but once she asked me to draw her portrait. Oh, she was a natural. So what happened to her? There's gotta be a story. She just stopped coming to class. Some people said she ran away. Some say she jumped off a cliff. I just hope she's okay. Hard to avoid her posters all over campus. Kills me to see her sweet face used as a crime photo. Ah, she had a good heart. Okay, why don't you start drawing me? Even though I must be a step down from Rachel. No way, you're a good substitute muse. Oh, that's a good posture. Good. Good. Best portrait ever. Thanks, Max. I'd like to draw you another time if you want. Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? Would you mind letting me sketch you? I do put my sketches on Facebook, though. I'd rather not, Daniel. Not that I don't want you to. Never mind. I guess you would be too ashamed. Now, I have to get back to my drawing. What's up, Daniel? Oh, hi, Max. Could I, um, ask you a question? 